Shane Dawson has started reaching out to people to ask them if they want to be the subject of his new documentary series. And the person he has reportedly asked is none other than Justin Bieber. I know, I feel like that's like kind of out of left field considering that Shane has mostly stuck to the YouTube realm for this documentary thing that he's doing. Like with some of Shane's other subjects, the news about Justin Bieber being in Shane's new documentary has already gotten him a fair bit of backlash online. Who knows, maybe he'll even put this video in his new documentary series. <laughs> What is happening people? This is Inform Overload where we keep you informed on everything that's happening on the internet. I'm Charlotte Dobry and if you need a place to get reliable news updates, subscribe to this channel and turn on those notifications. Before I get into this video, tell me in those comments, who do you think the subject of Shane's next documentary series should be? The Mind of Jake Paul was a complete success. Even though initially the choice of Jake Paul for a subject got Shane a fair bit of backlash. We did a story on IO about the backlash back in September and a clip from that video even ended up in the first part of Shane's Jake Paul series. Yes I am bragging about it, it was pretty much the coolest thing that has ever happened to me. Maybe that'll happen again. Hi Shane. At the time of this recording, Shane's 8 part series on Jake Paul has generated a combined total of 141 million views. So since the last documentary was such a success, everyone was wondering who Shane Dawson was going to choose next. On October 29th, Shane Dawson tweeted at Justin Bieber. It said, I'd really love to talk to you about a project I'd love to do with you that my heart is super invested in. I know you probably won't see this, but if you do, have a sec, let me know. At the time of this recording, Justin Bieber hasn't responded to Shane Dawson. And I'm not sure if he will. Shane Dawson's attempt to reach out to Bieber got some mixed reactions from people. A lot of people don't think that he should be focusing on celebrities like Justin Bieber. One person tweeted, Shane, you really gotta step back and consider focusing on individuals who don't already have a platform of their own. Specifically marginalized POC minority people, not just white celebrities who are already in the spotlight. Another person tweeted, seriously, why is he insisting on focusing and bringing to the spotlight problematic and privileged white famous guys rather than focusing on something more meaningful? There are so many other who have a story to tell that actually matters but don't have a platform to do it. I mean, I guess that's technically true. Shane Dawson's subjects have been primarily white and male, so it might be nice to see some diversity in there, but I don't think Shane Dawson's choice of subjects has anything to do with race or gender. Like I don't think he's leaving out certain minorities on purpose, he's probably just choosing subjects that are controversial that people want to know more about. When it comes down to it though, I'm not sure Justin Bieber would even want to be the subject of Shane Dawson's new series. Does he even know who Shane Dawson is? Let's face it, being a YouTube celebrity is not the same thing as being an actual celebrity. Even though the line is sort of beginning to blur, the two are very different. Plus, Justin Bieber is always in the spotlight. We already know so much about him and his life because he's, you know, he's always the main focus of attention. News outlets have entire Bieber sections. So there were also other rumors floating around that Shane Dawson might want to do a series on Danielle Bregoli, and I feel like that might be a way better choice. Whoever Shane chooses, I'm sure everyone will love it. People didn't want Shane to do a documentary on Jake Paul, and it actually turned out great. At the end of the day, it's a business move. He needs to top the last series somehow. Shane's probably going to choose a subject that most people recognize, but also a controversial subject that he could humanize and make more relatable. Let me know who you think should be Shane's new subject in those comments, but for now I'm going to do some comment replies. Miss Creative said, I is sad my comments never featured. Oh well, I love the videos, although for some reason they always give me a craving for potatoes. I mean, like, try working here, I'm going to get potatoes for lunch. French fries. I'm not just gonna like eat a potato like an apple, that would be weird. And also, I think that's bad for you, isn't it? Like dangerous to eat a potato like an apple? <sighs> Theron Boward said, I swear YouTube is broke because I usually get at least some notifications, but I haven't got one notification today about any video, shake my head. We actually talked about YouTube being broken and it likely has a lot to do with the shutdown of Google Plus, which is why you might not be getting notifications. If you haven't seen that video, check out the link that's clickable on the screen right now. Jarrah Baker said, how many videos do you shoot in a day? Three to four, usually? After I'm done IO, I work on life's biggest questions. Chinmaya Guru said, I unsubscribe to this channel for promoting PewDiePie. I think you're lying. Why, how did you even know that this video was up if you unsubscribed? And also that is a very silly reason to unsubscribe. Who are you, the Wall Street Journal? Mohamed Kier said, love this channel, all hail the potato queen, news that's actually watchable. Oh, thank you so much, you're a peach. It is that time again, we've come to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching Inform Overload, we really appreciate it, and by the way, we love it when you guys tip us off about stories you hear about, I've actually gotten a few ideas from people who've sent me direct messages on Instagram and Twitter, so if you hear about a story that would be good for IO, don't hesitate to contact us. Welcome to the end screen, you got a couple of choices right now, don't you just love choices? If you liked this video, you will love this playlist that's right over here. And by the way, if you were a fan of this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.